This is part 23 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating two-dimensional arrays in JavaScript. JavaScript does not have any special syntax for creating multi-dimensional arrays. Instead, we create an array of arrays. The example that we have here creates a two-dimensional 3x3 array, that is an array which has got three rows and three columns. If you look at element 1 that's present in row 0, column 0, element 5 is present in row 1, column 1, and element 9 is present in row 2, column 2. Let's see how to create this two-dimensional array with three rows and three columns. Now, a multi-dimensional array in a JavaScript is actually an array of arrays. Now, in this example, we want to create an array with three rows and three columns. So first, we need to create an array. Let's name it myArray1 equals new array, and the size is going to be three because we want three rows. And what is a multidimensional array in JavaScript? It's an array of arrays. We already have an array with three storage locations. Now, we want to create an array of arrays. So within each storage location of this array, we're going to create another array with three elements. So to loop through each storage location in my array one, I'm going to use a for loop. So for where i equals zero, i less than three, i plus plus. my array one of i equals new array of three. So what is this code going to do for us? Within each storage location of this my array one, we are creating another array with size three. Okay, so now we have got an array with three rows and three columns. So now we need to populate each storage location within this my array one. So my array one of row zero, column zero, we want to store number one. Similarly, in my array of row zero, column one, we want to store number two. Row zero, column two, we want to store number three. In the second row, we want to store four, five, six. So in column one, we want four, column two, five, and column, um, I mean, column zero, four, column five, one, and column two, six of row one. To speed things up, I have already typed the required code, so let's paste it here. So in the second row, we have four, five, six, and in the third row, that is the row with index position two, we have seven, eight, nine. So we have populated all the storage locations within this my array one. Now let's use a nested for loop, loop through each storage location, retrieve the number, and then write it to the web page. So I'm going to use a nested for loop here. So for where i equals zero, i less than three, i plus plus. So let's make a copy of this one and paste it there, and let's rename this variable to j. So we have a nested for loop here. Retrieve my array one of i, j, and we want to write the value that is present at that storage location to the document. So let's use the write method. After printing each number, we want a tab space. So I'm going to use ampersand emsp semicolon. And after printing each row of numbers, we want an HTML break. So outside of the inner for loop, I'm going to use another document.write and then spit out HTML break. All right, so with all these changes, let's run this. And as you might expect, we should have numbers from one to nine printed on the web form. Now, if you look at the code that we have here, we have hard coded the index positions here and then storing the numbers within each individual storage location of this array. To reduce the amount of code we have to write, we can use a nested for loop like this and then store the numbers. So let me make a copy of this nested for loop and let's paste it right here. So we can get rid of this HTML break 
and now I'm going to use my array one of i of j. So we need to populate this with a value. For that, what I'm going to use is another variable here. Let's call it start initialize that to one. And then we are going to store whatever value we have in the start variable. And every time we want to increment that by one. So now when we run this, we should still get the same output, that is numbers 1 to 9 printed in three rows. OK. So obviously, using this nested for loop has reduced the amount of code that we have to write. And that is this example. Now let's see how to perform an addition between two two-dimensional arrays in JavaScript. So what we want to do is we want to have a 3 by 3 array like this, which is going to store numbers from 1 to 9. And we want another two-dimensional array, which is going to store numbers from 9 to 1. OK? And we want to add these two uh, two-dimensional arrays. And the result should be stored in another two-dimensional array. And we should get this result. So when we add 9 to 1, the result is 10. Similarly, when we add 8 to 2, the result is 10. 5 to 5, it is 10. So in all these storage locations within the result, we should get number 10. So let's see how to achieve this. So at the moment, we have we already have uh, one two-dimensional array, which has got numbers from 1 to 9. So that's my array 1. So what I'm going to do is actually make a copy of this one. And after you know the first array, we want this plus symbol. So what I'm going to do is document dot write, write an HTML break. And then let's actually use ampersand EMSP semicolon, which is going to give us that tab space. And then let's print that plus symbol. And then let's print two HTML breaks. And now we want our second array. So let's make a copy of this piece of code here. And paste it right here. And let's rename this array name from my array 1 to my array 2. My array 1, let's rename that to my array 2. Replace all occurrences. And in my array 2, we should have numbers from 9 to 1. So we should be decrementing it. OK, so by the time it has reached this line, this start variable will have a value of 10. OK, so now in here we are creating my array 2 with three storage locations and then within each storage location, we are creating another array with three elements. So again, this is a two-dimensional 3 by 3 array. Now, we don't have to initialize this variable. Once again, we already have the start variable. And its value at the moment is number 10. So what I'm going to do is actually move this right here, and then subtract 1 from it. So 10 minus 1 start variable at the moment contains 9. And we are storing 9 in 0, 0, that is row 0 and column 0. And this loop will continue to populate all the storage locations from 9 to 1. And then finally, we are using a nested for loop and printing out the values uh, to the web page. So let's quickly run this and see if we get the output that we expect. So at the moment, we should have two arrays. First array should have 1 to 9, and second array should have 9 to 1. Now we want to perform addition operation between those two arrays. So first of all, let's make a copy of these lines. And we want equal to symbol. So instead of that, plus, let's paste that equal to. I'm going to make a copy of this piece of code. So let's copy that. And paste it right there. And let's rename 
my array two to my array three. Replace all the occurrences. So this is what is going to populate the storage locations within my array three. Now what do we want to store in my array three? We want to add the elements that are present in my array one and my array two in the respective storage locations and whatever is the sum that we get we want to store that in the corresponding storage location of my array three. So we don't need this start variable here so let's get rid of that and then here we are going to use my array one of i of j plus my array two of i of j. And then finally retrieve the values and print them to the console, I mean to the document using this nested for loop. So let's quickly run this and see if we get the output. Look at that, we get the output that we expect. So pretty straightforward example there. Now so far we have seen how to create a two-dimensional 3x3 three three arrays. Now let's look at another example of creating a two-dimensional 3x5 array that is three rows and five columns. So I'm going to get rid of all this code. So let's delete this code. So at the moment we have code for my array one and if you look at this my array one it has got three storage locations now we want to create a two-dimensional array with three rows and five columns meaning you know the outer array is going to contain three storage locations and within each storage location we want to have five elements right so this for loop right here is going to run until five and we are going to create another array with five elements. So this actually going to run till three because in the outer story, uh, array, we only have three storage locations. So three rows and within each row, we want five columns. So from zero till three, and then within each storage location of this array, create another array with five elements. And we are going to start at 100 so we are using a for loop here to populate each storage location within the array. So the outer for loop is going to run from 0 to 3. The inner for loop is going to run from 0 to 5. And we are going to increment you know, the start variable by 1. And within each storage location, we are storing whatever value we have got in that variable. And finally, we use another nested for loop here to print out the values. So the inner for loop should run from 0 to 5. So when we run this, as you might expect, we should have an array with three rows and five columns. So it's that simple to create a two-dimensional array in JavaScript. Thank you for listening and have a great day.